Before this video starts, I want to quickly ask you guys to turn on the notifications on the little bell icon so you will be the first one to see my videos. Now we're going to restart Sony Vegas right here and then we're going to look if the, if the font is in the actual list. But I think it's going to work. So let's see. We have our Vegas open right here as you can see. So I'm going to click on titles and text. I'm going to drag this one into the timeline. Then you want to write your name. Like, I mean, like I'm just going to write um, just Axel for the first. Yes. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Alex and today I'm going to show you guys how to install fonts. So let's say you're not satisfied enough with fonts that already that came with your computer and you want to have like some more custom uh, kind of fonts. I'm going to show you guys a website how to and download and install for free. That's what I'm going to show you guys today. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so as you can see, I'm in Vegas as always. Uh, but the thing you want to do next is you want to go to Google and then you want to type in the fonts. And which is going to bring up this website, dafon.com. And now we're at this website, as you can see. And right now, you're going to want to uh, decide what kind of font you want. So let's say I want the font, um, let's say, thin, a very thin font. As you can see, it's going to bring up a lot of thin fonts, as you can see. But if you want to have like a preview before you download it, you can just go to this preview bar. You, can, you want to type in your name, I'm going to type in my name, I'm going to press on enter, and then you see a preview of all the fonts you see, which is, and you know how it's going to look. So you want to pick the font that you want, so I'm just going to pick, um, let's say, um, I'm going to pick this one, Thin Man. And then what you want to do is you want to go to the right, or you can click on this download button, and then this window pops up, and you want to just do it with open with, with WinWar or WinZip, and then you see this folder. Now you don't want to extract anything to anywhere you just want to you want to go to this folder you want to click double click on the fonts as you can see this window pops up of course and then you just want to above you want to click on install and then it now it's installing as you can see it has installed then the window disappears and it's installed so the next thing you want to do to make this work you want to close out vegas i'm just gonna shut this down i don't want to save it nope now we're going to restart Sony Vegas right here. And then we're going to look if the, if the font is in the actual list. But I think it's going to work. So let's see. We have our Vegas open right here, as you can see. So I'm going to click on titles and text. I'm going to drag this one into the timeline. Then you want to write your name. Like, I mean, like, I'm just going to write um, just Alex Alford, of course. Like this. Now we're going to drag it a little bit taller, as you can see at the preview screen. So we can see it clearly. Now you want to select everything. And you want to go to this drop down menu and you want to press letter T because the you know the font starts with letter T. So I'm going to click on we just press on T. And now we're just gonna look in the list uh, for Thin Man. So we have to scroll all down until we have TH. Three weeks later. Here it is. It's Thin Man. It says regular, that means like normal, but it's a, it says Thin Man. The font that I have right here in this screen is exact the same as we just downloaded on dafon.com. This one, and you want to compare it to this one. And that's how you install fonts. Just go to the website, download the font you like, install the fonts, close out Vegas, restart it, and just drag the text file in like I just did and uh, look for the font. And then you can actually download um, like a lot of fonts. And if you don't want to, you know, like download all the fonts like one at a time, you can just Google for like, um, like font packs with like, because I have like a font pack for like 5,000 fonts. So I don't have to like go to Google or something to do that font to look up a new font every time. So I have like 5,000 fonts installed. You can find those on Google. Uh, it's completely free. So basically, that's how simple it is. So, so if you want to see more design Vegas tutorials, make sure to subscribe down below. And if you find this video helpful, feel free to leave a thumbs up down below. It's always appreciated. I'll see you guys very soon. What's happening, guys? My name is Alex and Welcome to a new Swin of Vegas tutorial and in this video I'm gonna show you guys this like really like requested a lot how to make a square face cam how to make a round face cam it's really simple I'm gonna show you guys how to do that so I would say let's get started okay guys so as you guys can see we landed on Sony Vegas and first of all what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drag in a picture of a Minecraft video like just the screenshot so it looks that it that we have the game open so it's it looks like you guys have like a better look at how like how it's gonna look when you have like a different shape of uh, face cam like how it's gonna look when you have like no like no like rectangle like standard or a square but like round or something so i'm just gonna drag in a minecraft picture and let's pretend that it, that's just like a minecraft footage game that you guys made or that you guys just recorded like a minecraft video i'm gonna drag in a picture and i'll see you guys when everything is you know dragged in a few moments later all right guys so as you guys can see i dragged in picture of minecraft and i'm just gonna now drag in the intro of this video to use it as a face cam so that is what i'm gonna do right now 
thumbnail, make sure that you record your face cam with something else than, than OBS. That's the bad thing. You can record your game with OBS. Please use another program for capturing your face cam. Your face cam and your gameplay has to be two separate videos. You don't want to have like your face cam already in the screen recorded because then you, you, you're not able to edit that. Make sure that you record in like both clips um, like in a different program. So once you've done that, you will actually ha automatically have a track only of your face cam. So I'm going to try that in right now. All right, everyone. So as you guys can see, we have two tracks, which one is the face cam track at the top and our new game underneath it. The next thing you want to do to make this round, like like from a square to round, you want to use a Sony cookie cutter. So I'm going to go to this effects button this one and i'm going to pick sony cookie cutter in this list this one sony cookie cutter you want to click on add okay boom boom as you guys can see i just have a round face cam it's that freaking simple guys so what you can do actually is you can change like you know the shapes as you can see i can have a circle i can have, i can have i can have like an oval kind of shape i can have like a like an oval that's going like up i can have like a rectangle i can have like a square like turned i can have like a normal square as you can see and i can use like like a triangle triangles all you know um like tilt to different sides and as you can see just arrows and stuff so basically let's say, let's say you want to have like a nice square one like this you can also customize it and you can do this with all you know templates you can add a little feather like you can like make the like the edges like fade if that's something you like you can also add a border to it like a nice you know like a like a border that's really nice as well you can you can do it like this if you want to i mean you can do everything with it and then of course the size you can you can select how big you want the face cam to be as you guys can see like i think this would be great so let's say once you've selected everything you like i'm going to go back to a circle that looks really good basically to have this one in the corner it's really simple you just want to click on this white icon of the uh, face cam track like this boom then you see this window popping up and what you want to do is you want to you know, like go to this and you want to drag it smaller and as you can see the face cam is getting you know smaller as well and i'm going to drag this one into the corner let's say like this this looks great so i'm gonna see how it looks right now so i'm just gonna close out this window and just imagine that you know the picture is just like a moving like just like a actual video and as you guys can see i'm just talking around and i'm looking like as you can see i'm just talking and doing my intros and stuff so that is basically how you can get a round or like a square or rectangle face cam guys it's that freaking simple this is like a really requested you know video like how to make a round face cam or like a square one or oval um, so I would say here you go. So that is basically how you make a round or square or any format like any shape you want of a face cam. That's really easy it is guys. You just want to use the, you just want to use the Sony cookie cutter. If you find this video helpful, make sure to smash the like button down below. Also subscribe for more videos actually every single day. Two videos a day. I uh, want to thank guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So I'll catch you guys tomorrow for two videos of reacting to a video from subscribers. So I will see you guys tomorrow. What's happening guys, my name is Alex and welcome to a new Sony Vegas tutorial. It's Wednesday, so it means a new tutorial for you guys. And in this video, I'm going to talk a little bit slower because, because I'm receiving some comments and I'm talking a bit too fast, so I'm just going to slow down for you guys. And in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to mask like a pro. So for the people who don't know what masking is, it's basically you're just going to go around something and you can just, you know, cut the background and you can put something else underneath it if you want to. I'm going to show you guys how to do it like pros or bosses, whatever. So, so I would say let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you need is actually some picture. So I'm going to drag this uh, Minecraft Steve guy in here. Boom. And I'm going to show you guys how to mask. So to get started, you want to click on this little icon, which says event pan crop. And then this box pops up. The only thing you want to do is you want to go to the left at the bottom and you want to check mark mask. Then those lines disappear, as you can see. A tool that you always need whatsoever. Never use something else. Never, never. Because you always want to pick the anchor creation tool this is gonna take you know a little while to um in order to mask this good i'm just gonna put some music on right now you know thank god editing and i'm gonna show you guys just i'm just gonna go around steve and show you guys how it's done so i'm just gonna show you guys i'm, I'm going to concentrate on this and i'm gonna show you guys and enjoy
Now that we have cut out Steve, you can just X out this window because you don't need it anymore. And as you can see, Steve is fully cut out. I'm gonna show you guys how to put something else underneath it. So as you can see, we completely removed the background. You can do this with any image. And the only thing you want to do is want to insert video track. And you're gonna drag this one to the top and you want to put your background on the track underneath it and on this track. So I'm just gonna drag in some background. Let's see which one I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna pick this one. Let's see how it how it looks. There we go. This is just a picture, as you can see. This is just a picture of a um, field like with some lights and stuff. So this is Steve on the new background. And that's how simple it is, guys. You just wanna mask it out, make a new video track, always put your background underneath the track of your mask figure and then you can just put on every single background that you want no matter what i can even put this one you can do whatever you want with it so so if you want to see more of those sony vegas tutorials every wednesday at 12 pm pst make sure to smash that like button and if you don't want to miss out on new content make sure to subscribe down below i'll see you guys next wednesday for a new video for a new sony vegas tutorials so until then i will see you guys very soon just alex halford